Hey guys, welcome to Investify, where we help you grow your wealth through smart investments. Today, we'll talk about effective and proven strategies to utilize an economic downturn to achieve financial success. Let's talk about it in six actionable steps that you can take starting today to ensure that you are adequately prepared for the upcoming months. It's not hard to see that we are headed for a recession. Interest rates have been continuously rising to tackle inflation. There have been multiple inverted treasury yield curves and unemployment levels are predicted to rise to 6.5%. So in this video, I am going to share with you strategies to fasten your seatbelt and survive the next recession, but also strategies to make sure you come out the other side sailing through. First strategy you must know is to avoid toxic lending. With interest rates increasing globally, borrowing money is becoming more costly. Therefore, it's crucial to pay off your existing debts, including car loans, furniture purchased on finance, and credit card debts, especially during this period. By doing so, you are guaranteed to get returns on your investment as you'll save on the interest that you would have otherwise paid. Second, top up your stockpile. During a recession, unemployment rates often increase. According to current statistics, unemployment levels are predicted to reach 6.5% by 2024. To prepare for the possibility of losing your job, it's important to have a stockpile or emergency fund that you can access easily, such as a high-interest savings account. Unexpected expenses can put a lot of financial strain, especially when the cost of living is high. Having an emergency fund can provide peace of mind and prevent added stress. The recommended amount for an emergency fund is 3-6 to six months of your basic living expenses if you're employed. If you're self-employed, it's suggested to have 6 months of your living expenses and 6 months of your business expenses. In times of rising inflation, people generally have less money to spend, which can impact profitability of businesses of all sizes. Therefore, having an emergency fund for your business is also important to ensure that both you and the business stay afloat during the recession. Next, don't crystallize is the third strategy. When the stock market drops, it's important not to panic and sell your investments. Even though it can be disheartening to see your investments losing value, selling in a panic can lock in your losses and make it impossible to recover your money. Many people make this mistake, even those who are experienced investors. However, it's important to keep a cool head and not let emotions drive your decisions. If you look at historical data, you'll see that the stock market has always bounced back from crashes, such as the ones in 1979, the dot-com crash, the 2008 recession, and the 2020 pandemic. Over time, the stock market tends to go up, so the key is to stay invested for the long term, rather than trying to time the market. Once you've built up your emergency fund, paid off your debts, and prepared for the tough times, you can start investing more aggressively. However, it's still important to proceed with caution, just like driving a car at high speed while wearing a seatbelt. Only consider the next three strategies when you've got your finances under control. Fourth, time to buy. During a recession, many people make a lot of money by investing in things like stocks or properties when their prices are low. However, most people tend to avoid investing during a recession because they're scared of losing money. But if you invest systematically over time, you could make a lot of money. This strategy is called dollar cost averaging. And it means that instead of investing a lot of money all at once, you invest small amounts of money at regular intervals. By doing this, you're more likely to buy stocks or properties at a good price, even if their value drops further in the future. When the market eventually recovers, you'll likely see a good return on your investment. If you haven't invested before and don't know where to start, there are many resources available that can help you get started. It's important to remember that investing is a long-term game, so don't expect to get rich quick. However, if you invest smartly and consistently, you could build a strong portfolio and make a lot of money over time. 
Now before we continue, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell for more updates here on Investify. Now the fifth strategy to consider is surviving and thriving during uncertain times is to establish all-weather income streams. As witnessed during the pandemic, unforeseen circumstances can cripple industries in ways we could never have predicted. For instance, cruises were stuck at seas, planes were grounded, and entire sectors were shut down. It's almost impossible to anticipate which industry will be hit next. As we've seen, the leisure and tourism sector took a significant hit during the pandemic, while the banking and real estate sectors were affected during the 2008 recession. In the dot-com crash, it was tech companies that suffered. If you put all your eggs in one basket, relying on just one source of income, you're in a precarious position because if anything happens to that particular sector, your entire income stream will be impacted. On the other hand, if you diversify your income, you can become more resilient. It's advisable to have at least one online business, so even if there's a lockdown, you can still have a steady income stream. Furthermore, diversification should also apply to your investments. Don't invest everything into individual stocks. Instead, spread your investments across various index funds and asset classes. Lastly, the sixth strategy is to keep your resume updated. As we know, recession result in higher unemployment rates and many businesses might shut down. Therefore, this is the perfect time to update your resume and start networking. As the saying goes, the best time to find a job is when you already have one. By being proactive, utilizing your existing network, and having negotiation power, you can stay one step ahead of the game without incurring any extra cost. What are some strategies you have used or heard of for building wealth during your recession? If you have another strategies for surviving and thriving during a recession, I would love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. And I will be sure to follow up with you. And if you found this video helpful, please feel free to share it with your friends. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell for more updates here on Investify.